is up you guys it's Kat welcome or welcome back to my channel today just feels I feel a little out of my element I'll be honest because I have my hair up in a ponytail instead of my normal down how I normally wear it which is just down <laughs> we're also drinking our coffee out of a different glass these are typically typically only use these glasses for water but today we're switching it up a lot of differences here my hair my coffee but of course we have Cali, that doesn't change. So if you are new to my channel, last January, I started this series where it's called trying five new morning habits out. I do so many videos about how habits to have in the morning and different morning routine habits. And one of the things I talk about is consistency. So a lot of those habits that I implement, I try to keep and they don't change very often. So something I like to do with these videos is challenge myself to find new habits that I've never tried before and, you know, switch things up a bit, see some new habits. Sometimes I love them and I incorporate them in my routine moving forward. Other times I'm like, eh. But I also think it's important to note that all of these habits could work great for me and not so great for you or fabulous for you and not so great for me. So I think it's important to do research, look through different types of habits when you're trying to build your perfect morning routine. So I'll have the playlist with all of these videos linked in the description box. So habit number one is something I've never done before. I don't think I've done it at least. Not in a very long time if I have, <laughs> but it's honestly such a good idea and I don't know how I never thought to do this before. I have heard people say, have your alarm clock be a song that you like, that way it goes off and it's already music. When I'm waking up, I prefer to have something a little bit more soothing. I use my wake up light as an alarm clock and it basically over a 30 minute period becomes brighter and brighter and brighter to simulate the sun. So it's as if you're waking up to natural sunlight. And then when it gets the brightest, birds start chirping and this like nice, little relaxing music starts playing. So that's how I like to actually wake up. But this tip is as soon as you turn your alarm off, if you're like me and you don't wanna wake up to a song, put on some sort of a motivating, upbeat, inspiring song, or you could do a podcast, but I find that music is what really gets, like as soon as I start listening to a song that puts me in a good mood, I'm like in the vibe, you know what I mean? And this morning when I did this, it really did give me like a little burst of energy. As soon as I heard the song, I just felt more awake and excited. Music is just such a powerful tool to get yourself in any mood that you wanna get yourself in. Like if you wanna be sad, listen to a sad song. If you wanna be positive, listen to a happy song. So if you listen to a happy song first thing in the morning that you really like, it's going to immediately put you in a good mood and give you more energy. Okay, number two, I was not thrilled about when I woke up, but it did give me a little burst of energy, I'll be honest. And that is within one minute of waking up, do one minute of cardio. Now, this doesn't have to be anything crazy. The reason I say within one minute of waking up is because typically when I first wake up, I drink the water that's right by my bed, I go turn the alarm off, I'll put a, this morning I put a song on, then I go to the bathroom and that all takes about a minute. And then I come back to the bedroom and I'm ready to do my one minute of cardio. And like I said, definitely not my favorite thing when it was happening, but whenever you do something to like get your body moving, it does release endorphins, what so makes you happy and it gives you more energy. So I just did some very light jogging in place. So even though I wasn't thrilled about it right when I had to start, by the end of the minute, I was feeling good and I was happy that I did it. I definitely do recommend this habit, I'll be honest right now, just from doing that like minute of little burst of cardio, I feel so much better. When I first started, I was like, oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. But by the end, I was getting into it and I was having fun. And I would say these two habits kind of go hand in hand because by having the song on, I went to the bathroom and then I came right back in and having the music already kind of put me up in like a pumped up mood. And so it was a lot easier to get into the one minute of cardio. <laughs> Also, let me know how you're doing on your morning calendar if you downloaded this. If you haven't, I'll leave the link in the description for you to download this whole morning tracker and the video where I talk about it. This morning I was so tired when I filled this out that I put an X instead of a check mark, but this is good. We woke up 15 minutes earlier than we were supposed to, so very happy about that. I'm feeling very good about this so far. Okay, this one, hear me out, because you're probably gonna think, Maybe you're probably gonna think, Kat, I don't have time to do that in the morning. I have to get to school, I have to get to work, I have things to do. I cannot take a bath. 
Anytime I take a bath, I just feel so refreshed and rejuvenated and relaxed after. So I thought it would be a cool thing to do in the morning, not something I typically ever do. But I found that if I start the water while I'm brushing my teeth, washing my face, you know, maybe while I'm having breakfast, maybe while I'm emptying the dishwasher, maybe I have it filling up while I take Cali for a quick walk. There's so many different parts of my morning that I could let the bath water fill up. It takes maybe 10 minutes. And then even if I'm just actually sitting in the bath for 10 to 15 minutes, it's so relaxing. My my favorite thing to do in the bath is read. I can be doing other things that I have to do while the bath is filling up and then I just sit in it, relax, enjoy the ambiance, read a book, have my candle there and it's just so relaxing. And then when I get out, you know, there's like, I just get dressed. Like a lot of times I would take a body shower anyway, so I might as well do this instead. That's a lot more relaxing. So really this doesn't have to add more than like 15 minutes to my morning routine and it's so worth it in my opinion. I'm now gonna take a sip of water, I guess. And we're not gonna do this today, but within the next couple weeks, I'm gonna be doing a chit chat get ready with me. I've never done anything like that where I'm actually talking while I'm doing my makeup. I have not, honestly, I don't even remember the last time that I actually showed my makeup routine on in a video or like what I actually do or the products I use. And I've never done more of a casual just chit chat where it's not a Q&A, more just like talking about what's on my mind and my life and life update. I don't know where it's not a Q&A, you know what I mean? It's more of just talking. I love watching Get Ready With Me slash chit chat videos while I'm getting ready. I'm actually gonna watch one today. <laughs> so I am really excited to do one with y'all. And also something fun if you didn't know about me, I only use cruelty-free makeup products. But right now I'm just gonna watch a video while I do my makeup and like speed it up or whatever. interested slash hopefully excited about it should check out ready with me i just think it'll be fun to do a little little more casual what's next i'm checking my computer to see what the next habit is oh oh right okay this one i'm actually really excited about we're gonna go ahead to the living room because the next habit has to do with and you're probably gonna think really cat but just trust me watching the news or reading the news not really i guess reading or watching the news okay not the normal news i personally would not recommend watching the normal news first thing in the morning totally agree it's important to stay educated and know what's going on in the world but save that for later in the day but there are a lot of fun sites that have like good news sites like they're news but they're just good stories like all happy stories they share and this one that i found good news network i really like they have like a whole bunch of different positive stories in the news that you can read to put you in a good mood, like feel good stuff. Something to still feel like you're learning and getting educated on what's going on, but they're more positive stories and happy things. And this one, I will be honest, is not something that I would do every single morning because I like to keep my mornings as unplugged as possible. But I do think this would be good if I'm tempted to go on social media and I think, all right, instead of scrolling through Instagram, why don't I go take a look at the Good News Network and see what cool articles they have that I can read. All right, this one's really weird, but I've done it before just randomly throughout the day when I'm feeling stressed and it really does help. So I thought this would be a great thing to end my morning routine with, like right before I'm about to get up and go sit at my desk to start work for the day. This just like centers me and makes me feel really good. So basically find a comfy spot on your floor. I like doing this in my office because I got the big fuzzy carpet and you're gonna lie down completely flat on your back with your legs and your arms like just laid out straight, let your whole body just kind of fall on the ground. 
not fall on the ground, but once you're lying on the ground, like, you know what I mean? I like to do this with no noise, no extra sound. So I guess this is kind of like meditating, but you're not sitting in the traditional meditation pose, but I just like to lie there, try and clear my mind, focus on my counting, focus on my breathing, and just relax. And typically I like to count to 100, so I'm lying there for like probably around 100 seconds. And I just find that once I stand up, I feel so refreshed, like so calm and peaceful and just like, ready to start my day. I do this randomly, but I've never made it a habit where I actually do it every single morning right before I go sit at my desk to begin work. And this morning when I did that, it felt amazing. If you watch until this part, comment, wishbone. I'm looking at a picture of a wishbone that my mom, I'll go get it. My mom got me this picture for, I wanna say my 18th birthday. Comment wishbone if you watch till this part. And if you wanna add to that comment, also add, a wish slash goal, because I don't like to think of things as wishes. I think goals are a more practical way to think of things because a wish to me is kind of like, oh, I hope that would happen. But a goal is like, this is what I want and I'm gonna make it happen. <laughs> I'll have the playlist with all of these trying five new morning habits video li videos linked above me. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. I, again, will have my morning playlist linked above me and I will see y'all in my next video.